Did you ever wonder if there is a testing framework that covers a wide area of tests such as unit tests, functional tests, end-to-end -end tests, and integration tests? This is John from Java Code Geeks, and today I'm going to show you how to write clean and efficient code in Java by using test ng testing framework. This video has been sponsored by DeepBlue. DeepBlue offers a free AI-powered unit test generation tool for Java developers. This AI, or in other words DeepBlue's cover, has the ability to automatically write suites of unit tests for you in Java that would otherwise take days or weeks to write manually and delivers human-readable code to increase your code coverage while ensuring you don't break anything along the way. Of course, DeepBlue's first AI-powered automated Java unit testing solution is now free, and it is available as a plugin of IntelliJ, the most popular IDE for enterprise Java to use with all Java code. Last but not least, each of you has the chance to get 3 free months of DeepBlue's professional edition, which offering test writing for packages, identification, and support by signing up using the link in the description below. TestNG is an open source automated testing framework where NG means next generation. It is inspired by JUnit and NUnit but introduces some new functionalities that make it more powerful and easier to use. Now, complementary to this video tutorial, you can find related articles and resources in the description below. Of course, you can visit Java Code Geeks to stay up to date with everything Java related. Just before we continue, if you guys like these guides and videos, take a minute to subscribe, like and hit that notification bell just so you know when the next video is up. So with no further ado, let's get started. A framework is a set of rules or guidelines like coding standards and test data handling that the testing world follows in a systematic manner during automation scripting to achieve better outputs and results. It includes best practices and tools to help the quality assurance professionals to test and achieve better results. Testing frameworks are an important part of our successful automation testing process because it helps to reduce the maintenance cost, testing efforts, code reusability, and many other things to achieve. It is very important to choose the type of framework while we write our test plan. The most common types of test automation framework are At first is the linear automation framework which is a record and playback framework and no coding is required. Secondly is the modular based testing framework which is an application that is divided into individual modules that are tested separately and then combined to create a larger test. Thirdly is the data-driven testing framework in which test scripts are connected to files and the application is tested with the help of these files uh, by using them multiple times with different test datasets. And last but not least is the hybrid test automation framework, which is a combination of one or more frameworks that we mentioned above. TestNG, where NG means next generation, is a test automation framework written in Java and inspired by JUnit and NUnit. It can be used for unit integration, functional, and end to end test. It, can, it has gained a lot of popularity in a short time and it is one of the most widely used test frameworks among Java developers. Of course, it uses Java annotations to write and test methods and can be used by Java-related languages such as Groovy. In TestNG, tests are configured or described through XML files. The default name of this XML file is TestNG XML or we can give any other name if we want to. TestNG allows users to do test configurations through XML files and also allows to include respective packages, classes and methods in their test suite. TestNG annotations are used to control the next method to be executed in the test scripts and they are defined before every method in the test code. In case a method doesn't have an annotation, then it will be ignored and not be executed in the test code. To define them, the method must be annotated with a test annotation. Furthermore, TestNG report can be customized with the help of different types of listeners. Listeners help to pass the proper message in execution report so can everyone easily understand it. TestNG provides different types of listeners which help us to generate our own events when test cases pass, fails or skip. The main purpose of listeners is to extend the default behavior of the reports of the TestNG. 
Here are some methods of listener. At first is the on test start, which allows to perform any type of action required before each test method. Secondly is the on test success, which allow us to perform any type of action required on each test method success. Thirdly is the on test failure, which allows us to perform any type of action required on each test method failure. Uh, also is on test skip which allows perform any type of action required on each test method skip and last but not least is the on test finish which allows perform any type of action required on test method finish test ng covers a wide area of tests such as unit test functional test and to end tests and integration tests more specifically unit testing is a type of, of software testing where individual units or components are tested the, The uh, purpose of this is to validate that each unit or component performs as expected. Secondly is the functional testing, which is a quality assurance process and the type of black box testing that bases its test cases on the specifications of the software component under tests. Furthermore, end-to-end -end testing is a testing technique that Test the entire software from the beginning to the end to ensure that performs as expected. And last but not least is the integration testing, which is a type of testing where software modules are integrated locally and tested as a group. Both JUnit and TestNG are very popular frameworks in Java and they have their singularities on their functionalities. However, TestNG has more features than JUnit. These are the grouping. Using TestNG, we can perform a lot of complex automation testing because it has the ability to group the test cases and execute them as groups. However, in JUnit, we can perform group tests. Secondly, is the extend classes. It has and G, we don't need to extend the classes. However, in JUnit, we need to extend the classes. Thirdly, is the dependency test. In test and G, we can use the depends on methods to perform the dependency test. The JUnit does not support this feature. And last but not least is the parallel test execution. In test and G, we can perform parallel test execution if we run the program through the XML file. However, JUnit does not support this feature. The first thing that we need to do is to open the POM XML file and add the dependency of the test ng. The next step is to create a new class with a name employee and write some attributes such as the name, the monthly salary and the age of the employee and write the getters and the setters for each attribute. Furthermore, we need to create a new class with a name employee calculator in order to write two methods to be able to test them later. At first, the first method is the year salary, which has one parameter, which is the employee. Inside the method, we create a new double salary variable. We calculate the salary of the year of the employee. And last but not least, we return the salary. Secondly, we create a new method with a name appraisal, which has again one parameter, which is the employee. Inside the method, we determine the appraisal amount of the salary of the employee. If the monthly salary is smaller than 10,000, then we raise the salary of the employee by 100, or else we raise the salary of the employee by 200, and we return the rise. After that, we create a new class with the name test. We write two objects, one for the employee and one for the employee calculation. And we start to write the two test methods. The first method is the test yearly salary, which we determine the name, the monthly salary and the age of the employee. We call the yearly salary method to calculate the yearly salary of the employee. And we call the asset equals method to determine the pass or fail status of the test case. Furthermore, we write a new method with a name test appraisal. We set again all the attributes of the employee. And we call the appraisal to calculate the rise of the salary of the employee. And last but not least, we call the uh, asset equals method. Finally, we write the test annotation before the two methods to be able to execute them as test cases. Now we can run the program. As you can see, the methods have passed the test. Now we need to create a new XML file to be able to run the program from there. So we need to create a new XML file with a name 
test and we must configure it. A suite is represented by one XML file. It can contain one or more tests and we can define them by the tag of suite. The test tag represents one test and the class tag represents the test class. Now we need to run the program from the XML file. As you can see, the methods have passed the test. Now, to be able to see the results from an HTML page, we need to go to Run Configurations, Edit Configurations, then Listeners, and add two listeners, the email reporter and the failed reporter listeners. Now, if we run again the program through the XML file, we can see that it creates a new HTML output in which we can see the HTML page that shows the two methods that have passed the test. Let's see some alternatives to test ng. At first, it's JUnit. JUnit is a simple framework to write repeatable tests. It is an instance of XUnit architecture for unit testing frameworks. Secondly, the Qcumber. Qcumber is a tool that supports behavior-driven development, which is a software development process that aims to enhance the software quality and to reduce maintenance cost. Thirdly, is the Mojito. Mojito lets you write tests with a clean and simple API. The tests are very readable and secondly create verification errors. And last but not least is the NUnit, which is an evolving open source framework that helps you to write and run tests in .NET programming languages. The advantages of test ng are, at first, it can reduce the overall test execution time because it can run tests in parallel. Secondly, it can be easily integrated with continuous integration tools like Jenkins. This could be done easier with the help of test ng XML file. Thirdly, there is no need to encrypt the data. This could be done easier with the help of the annotations, such as data provider parameter. Also, we can make one test dependent to another. And last but not least, with a grouping test, we can create different test suites like regression and smoke. And moreover, we can integrate and trigger those test suites with continuous integration tools like Jenkins. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have some really cool stuff coming up. Bye.